When we connect two opposite terminals of an electric supply directly to each other via a good conductor, it causes a short circuit. But then, by connecting an electromagnet, which is also just a wound up wire of good conductor, doesn't cause a short circuit? Let's untangle in this video. First, let's start out with the terms and phenomena. Circuit means a close connection between two supply terminals, while short circuit means the shortest way to make a circuit, which is directly connecting two terminals to each other, hence a short circuit. But not every blown up appliance or gadget which had sparks and smoke or heat up may not always be dead because of short circuit. Generally, the problem we address by saying so is excess flow of current, which is beyond permissible and tolerable limit. V is equal to IR is the simple equation we use in electrics, where V stands for voltage, I stands for current and R stands for resistance. When we consider a battery or an AC supply which comes at our home, that all are at constant voltage. So by little bit of modification in the equation, you can say that I means current is inversely proportional to resistance. Why we think electromagnets should short circuit is because we know that they have very low resistance as they are made up of good conductors. Which means by equation, low resistance hence high flow of current hence a blown up appliance. But it doesn't happen so. The reason is we are only considering one factor affecting the resistance which is metal conduction properties. But there are two equally important properties affecting the resistance which does the work of limiting the current in an electromagnet and preventing it from blowing up the circuit. First property is length of conductor. All conductors except superconductors offer some amount of resistance to the flow of electric current. As the length of the wire in the circuit increases, the electrons have to travel a long path from start to end. Hence the amount of resistance to be faced by electrons increases. This increased resistance does the work of limiting the current in the circuit. And you know, electromagnets are made up of long wound wires. Second, cross-sectional area of conductor. More the cross-sectional area of conductor, more the electrons can flow at a time. Hence, more amount of current can flow if the wire has greater cross-sectional area. As the cross-sectional area of a wire decreases, less electrons can flow at a time. The cross-sectional area of conductor decides the limit of the current. Smaller the cross-section area, hence lesser the electrons can flow at a time, hence lesser current flow. That's why you see thinner wires in small electronics and small circuits whereas thick wires in bigger appliances. This thin wires does the work of limiting the amount of current to be flowing in the wire. Electromagnets in appliances and gadgets are designed in such a way that they consume electricity as required and won't let excess current flow by offering resistance by length of conductor and its cross section. That's why electromagnet doesn't short circuit. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.